the biggest challenges humanity has ever faced is undoubtedly climate change, caused by emissions being poured into the atmosphere. Scientists have developed methods to measure the quantity of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and relate warming to historical emissions of fossil fuels. Nature-based solutions can capture carbon from the atmosphere and store it, known as carbon sequestration. However, the carbon entering an ecosystem is eventually released back into the atmosphere because plants and microorganisms respire CO2. At present, there's no way of knowing how long it takes for the sequestered carbon to return to the atmosphere and how much warming is avoided. What scientists are measuring instead is the actual warming in terms of positive radiative forcing, which is rising with emissions. Atmospheric warming due to emissions and carbon sequestration in nature-based solutions are usually qualified in different units, so it cannot be compared directly. Therefore, the amount of warming avoided by carbon sequestration is unknown, which sets back progress on reducing humanity's impact on the planet. To solve this, researchers have developed a computational framework that can quantify avoided warming from nature-based solutions. Crucially, it can measure how long carbon resides in an ecosystem and how long it takes to return to the atmosphere. It can calculate the nature-based solution's impact on mitigating climate change in terms of negative radiative forcing. For example, two separate nature-based solutions can have their effectiveness compared on relevant timescales. When emissions and sequestration are assessed in the same units of warming, then the option that maximises mitigation potential may be chosen. This framework enables us to fully assess a system, such as the food production system, and determine how much warming can be avoided. Filling this conceptual gap with a concrete computational framework advances our ability to create climate solutions portfolios. Helping policymakers develop land-based solutions will help achieve the Paris Climate Agreement targets and reduce peak warming.